So I was at work the other day and an ad break uh, came on and I'm thinking that there is a Stargate fan in production of some of these ads because I found Ergo to have inserted himself into an ad for, um, I don't know oh. if it's Me Bank or M-E Bank. Me Bank. Me Bank. Mm. Have a listen to this. If your home loan's feeling more like a life sentence, then it might be time to escape to me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Break free with our lowest ever variable home loan rate. If you want to see how much you could save, plan your great escape at mebank.com.au. <laughs> oh, that's see. Toga. That's yeah, Toga, right? Toga. Yeah. Terms, conditions, fees and charges apply. Me. Let's see, is, is him. Me, 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 so, me, just me, like me, doing, the, doing, the, doing the thumbs into the chest. Me, 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 me. I can't hear that out without picturing hey, Dom DeLuise in my head. Just <laughs> me, 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 hey, we me. just we just played an ad on a podcast. Do we get paid for that? Uh, great I'll, people at me, bank. Uh, if they want to sponsor yeah, the show. And we know they've got people. money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <mate>. We know <laughs> they've got Plenty money. Plenty of it. We'll open an account if you want to shovel some cash in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great people. Unless they don't want to sponsor the show, then go on to come World Bank. Get into Gate. This is episode 136. We're talking Stargate SG1. The full Get Into Gate team is here. My name's Mitch. Joining me, Matty, Yow. Brendan, Hello. and Reese. G'day, guys. If you're listening to the show for the first time, Reese is our first time watcher. Never before seen an episode of Stargate before we started this show. And so he's watching each and every episode for the very first time. The rest of us, long term Stargate fans, we're here to do a rewatch with Reese and uh, look at it from a uh, little bit of a hindsight, a little bit of a respective sort of look on it. So what we do each podcast, I'll uh, read the synopsis of the episode and then we'll throw it over to Reese and see what he thought. A 15-year-old infiltrates the SGC with the startling news that he is Colonel Jack O'Neill, having mysteriously reverse-aged 30 years overnight. Possessing O'Neill's knowledge, exact DNA, and, above all, his attitude, can he really be O'Neill? And if not, where is the real O'Neill? A question the Asgard may hold the key to. Reese, a uh, somewhat young O'Neill. I uh, said last week, this is fun, and you'll find out why. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it as much mm. as the rest of us. Over to you. i got to tell you guys, I really miss Jonas. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Just go jerk off your figurine I gave you last week. And you'll he did. Be fine. That's been up my ass four times already. <laughs> last week, your first words were <laughs> because of Daniel returning. Ash, oh, wait, no, the Jonas, no, the Jonas, Jonas one. Doll. Okay, no. Ash, get out of here! I'm trying to f- Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> You're jerking my little weenus. <laughs> but um, yeah, the- <laughs> my stinky dick. This is like a. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not having a shower, Ash. Get out. <laughs> um, this was like a reverse Tom Hanks, wasn't it? I guess big. so, yeah. Oh, He's, big. Uh, big. 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 The pencil. Um, <laughs> instead of instead of growing, instead of being a little kid and growing big, he was a big guy, turned little. Mm-hmm. Opposite. Right. Mm. Opposite. Uh, never seen big. Good. <laughs> what about the one with um, the guy out of the Wonder Years? Ah, can't remember. What Austin that Powers, was Deadpool yeah. two, the same. Austin Powers, <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool two, Austin Powers three. What, what one? Where him and uh, Judge Ryan Hall swap bodies. Oh, you're thinking of Lindsay oh. Lohan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Freaky Friday. Friday. Yeah, you're right. What a show! I always get them. Yeah, childhood stars. You know, get mixed up sometimes. Him and Dickie Roberts. Disney turned that into a musical movie. Would you believe? I would. God, Disney. Believe anything. Disney Plus, get out soon. Great people. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I, I, I forgot. Uh, I like this. What are we? What are we talking about? No, I like this episode. Yeah, it was really fun. I think that that young fella did a bloody great job at acting like um, Jack and Neil. Yeah, it was really good. Went on to be in the uh, Twilight films. Yeah. I, oh oh God. my God! I knew I knew his face yes. from somewhere. Oh, the chick. Yes, <laughs> it's Anna Kendrick. Oh, that's right. God, I knew he's a, he's a, he was a cute little kid, but turned into a really hot woman. So, yeah. I, yeah. for Who some reason, I thought you were talking about the Twilight Zone. Mo- I'm not. I didn't oh. know they made movies. There's a Twilight oh, the Zone band. movie. Yeah, the but Vampire. I didn't know there was plural. Oh, you yeah, know, which there isn't. No, no homers. There's one. It's on my DVR at the moment. I've seen <laughs> it, but it's there. Twilight. Who was he in Twilight? Yeah. Uh, he was like the the token guy. There was. He like- was the wolf. 
<laughs> there was there was Anna Kendrick, there was the Asian guy, and then there was him. And he was like he was in love with the main chick, but she didn't reciprocate. Yeah, and then yeah. he ended up with Anna Kendrick. He's like, and ah, we're gonna Which, twilight. Oh yeah, because she Anna wanted Kendrick to buy has a, um, two tickets to Lesbos in Greece. Who did? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Did you um, read the story from... There was a story go, uh, last week, because I don't know what movie she must be doing press for. I think she's got one over at the, like the Toronto International Film Festival or something. And because she is in a, in a in a lesbian relationship and, and she said she basically got told by her management to tone it down. <gasps> I the saw quote, this article. The quote was, if you stop holding hands with your girlfriend in public, you'll probably get a Marvel movie. Mm. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, tone down the whole, you know, your sexual yeah. orientation. Not so much PDA. Stop being yourself. No. With, your, with your girlfriend. You might get mm. a Marvel movie. <laughs> like, what the- That's just... Graceful. Yeah, and That's I'm hoping that by the time you know we've, we've recorded this, I'm hoping in the, in the in the few days until we upload it that Kevin Feige comes out and says, "No, we're cool. We're cool. We've got gay MCU characters coming up. We're totally okay with gay actors starring in our films because that would be like ob- the obvious, normal, and right thing to do." But it's just such a weird thing for the agents to go, you know what you need to be? Stop being gay. Yeah. And then you could be in one of those Fine, yeah. superhero blockbustery she's, things. She's got the emotional range of a piece of paper, so she'd fit perfectly on a comic book. <sighs> Maybe. No, she's all right. She's all right. Oh, I think yeah. she peaked in um, Panic Room. She was good in Panic Room. She was good in Panic Room. No, yeah. Larry Emder died. <laughs> <laughs> what? Died from a case of the Hansoms? What? <laughs> what the f***? It's not funny. He died, apparently. Oh, he's like the Australian um, Bob Barker. He was on TV oh, with Link two days right. ago. Price is right, guy. Yeah, yeah he's on TV yeah. with Link two days ago. He yeah, he that, died. That I'm telling show. you. <laughs> Quickly in his home. I kind of want to Google, Jesus. but I don't. Want, I don't want to. Guess how old he was. Is this like Blue Waffle? Like you, you, glue, you Google Blue Waffle and you're horrified. By I what didn't know he was that. Don't old. tell me that because I'm not going to. Forty-four. Oh, of course, I'm going to want to do it. Oh man, how, how old do you reckon he was? Forty-four. Lower. I want to say that. Matty John special right there. Dad joke activated. Oh my f- me. <laughs> Just because a dad says it doesn't make it a dad joke. No, I'm because getting very of, defensive. Because of its content, that's, it was a dad joke. That's, fo- that's good gear. That's actually good gear. That's a fl- that's a flesh oh, joke. Oh, that was a long way around. Yeah. Fuck it out. But so we we had we had real life questions there because well, hang on, Lincoln, my brother was on TV with him two days yeah. ago. Like, there's there's connections. It <laughs> what did Link did Link did Lincoln spot any warning signs? What's going on? No. Shut up and say the setup. He had a moldy dick, but I don't know. That was normal. Yeah. And now, and now Mitch knows to go Google Blue Waffle. So. Oh, God, I'm going to be able to help well. myself. Yeah. <laughs> the funny um, thing was I heard Matty Johns trying to tell that, and he's like, so... Um, to the soccer guy. Yes. Yeah, so, do you know Larry Emder? Yeah, I do. He's a good mate of mine. Oh, well, he died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, had to, Sorry, you had to exit the, the joke. The joke was. <laughs> you had to back out of the joke. Oh, you're supposed to say. I'm supposed to say, yeah, how do you think he is? You say, I say lower or higher. Don't worry about it. The guy's like, F- I'm just about to make a phone call. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, press wrong, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michael uh, Welsh. Yeah, is that his name? That's One of the great name. young actors. No, he's he was, great. He was actually great as a as a much much younger kid, maybe eight or ten. He was in a, a pretty big blockbuster movie that I won't mention the name of. But oh. A lot of people. If all I have to say to a lot of people is, uh, you got to have a little fun every day, and I know what I'm talking about. That's one. Yeah, I'm assuming that's that. one. I'll that's that's one. probably one. <laughs> Star Trek Insurrection. Yes. Oh, Z Nation. Oh, Z in Australia. Ah, <laughs> uh, Star Trek. <laughs> Insurrection But you know He's not How old is he I was just trying to find He'd be about our age I reckon 32 yeah hmm. So I mean go. If they're having a spin off Jack O'Neill Could come back Maybe Captain O'Neill Major O'Neill mm. This guy could play Jack Yeah I mean He doesn't look like RDA what? now But well, that doesn't you matter. You could suspend your sleep. He was a Sci-fi dodgy clone. Fans are very yeah. forgiving. He's just I mean, a dodgy yeah. clone. I mean, RDA doesn't look like Kurt Russell either. So it's like no, we that's can... right. It's not the first time they've recast. Mm. Yeah, no, that would be great actually. Because yeah, That'd obviously be nice. skipping to the end of the episode, he's just yeah. set free. He goes. Would he have joined? Would he have joined the military again? Been there, done that. 
Well, no, that that could be the thing though. He's like, maybe he went and had his own life, yeah. and it's like maybe the real Jack O'Neill's missing, and they need his DNA for something or DNA you know, memory. whatever. DNA memory, you know, DNA is a big thing in the Stargate universe. You know, you got to have mm. certain genes to do certain things. Maybe they need Jack O'Neill's DNA, That's and true. they're like, well, he's gone missing, and the only way to find well, him he... is to use his DNA. So we'll go and find his clone. I'm pretty he's now sure. All grown up. He came in a cup in Antarctica. We mm-hmm. just grab that. Mm-hmm. That'd be. Did a, he? That'd be a creamsicle by now. Is that Carter's nickname. <laughs> Jesus. Acap. <laughs> no, I like that A-cup. though. Acap. <laughs> A- A- Captain. I like that. Oh yeah, I like Cap- the idea of bringing him back for that. Mm. There's um there's obviously a lot of controversy too over the ending. People seem really split over the ending of of this episode. Yeah, that, I, that I would not dig it. it does that would go not, a little bit creepy. It is. For me. It wouldn't fly. You wouldn't be able to make that in 2019. Oh no way! Like why? that's just well, you would, why? what a, an, a man like a, a third like a late 30s early 40 year old man in a teenage body going back yeah. to high school going I'm just going to go and bang the chicks that's that fine. I never could back yeah. in the day. It that's was fine. just that one moment where the kid turns around, sort of raises his eyebrows at the girls, and then Jack's like. Yes, go forth. Yeah. I just think they could have scaled yeah. back a little bit on that. Yeah. Because when I, when I, nah, ob- obviously I what they were trying to see do. those chicks, go f*** them. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be sick because the military set him up. He's probably got a pad. Yeah. So it's like the party well, hub of this high school. Well, I think the, the idea behind it for the writers was it's like, we've all at one point in our lives thought, oh, geez, wouldn't it be great to go back and mm. relive your life from the age of like 10 or 15 yep. with the memories you have now and yeah, just sort of right. redo the sports so almanac. That's, that's, play the, some bets. Yeah, that's the cool aspect of it is, which is, yeah. Reliving, not just doing your life over, yeah. just having put a on the, over, put a bet on better. the West Tigers in 2005, yeah. <laughs> 66 to one at the start of the season. Oh, they really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Put five bucks on that. Put, put at least <laughs> six on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's just that one little moment at the end that I think is. Um, sometimes I'm cool with it. Other times I'm like, oh, a bit creepy. Nah, I didn't think you got to like you got to watch he's it. A, he's a teenager. His body. That's why yeah, he's it's... going back to school. He's not going to learn more about science. If anything, they're cradle snatchers because he's only a week old. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's weird. It's like if if that happened to one of us, like if I f- yeah. up in like the body of the you know fifteen year old me, I'd be like, oh, here we go. Fifteen year old Lincoln, maybe. Oh yeah, that no, that'd be the better way to go. <laughs> but no, I think you got to watch it in the in the year that it was filmed. Like it yeah, was. I- like I said, they I might go, have worded I go back and forth. O'Neill's last line a bit different, but I think everything else is fine. Yeah, the O'Neill sort of go forth thing could have just been him ad libbing on the day, yeah, and he, it's obviously yeah. meant in, in jest and fun and, and all that kind of thing. But yeah, yeah it's, I guess just—I mean, what else is he going to do? This yeah. young O'Neill just be like, yeah, like chilling, want... and then the police like, why aren't you at school? And he's like, shit, mm. <laughs> he's just fishing. It's like, what teenage boy wag school to go fish? Yeah, like, yeah, go and, yeah, mm. go and steal some grog from a from a from an alcohol shop, mate. <laughs> it's like, no, beer. please, boring. I've got beers back at home. How they oh. enrol him in school? He's got no birth certificate. Oh, they dropped. Oh, mate. They dropped. What's her name in there? Cassandra back yeah. in the day, and yeah. the other one. Oh, true. Well, isn't it's that the military? I don't know who on uh, hit us up on Twitter at one point. And they were talking about oh, if they hit it, had a Stargate show now, and it would be like n- next generation, and you would have Clone O'Neill grown up. You would have Cassandra. Mm. There would oh, be. No, you can leave um, Cassandra. Um, there'd be Ryak, and then who was like the oh. Daniel replacement? There was uh, Shifu. Bring back Shifu. Shifu. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah, was like that's, that's right. your four Descend SG1 Shifu. 2.0 yeah. type thing. Mm, yeah, that could oh, be yeah. fun. You know. Ryak's probably aged out, though, isn't he? Is he? Oh, no, he'd be about the same age as young man. Jennifer Haley. Yeah. He's Jafar, too, so he lives longer. <laughs> oh, I just mean the actor in general. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But no, he'd be about the same age as um, Michael Walsh. Probably. They can recast. It doesn't have to be that same yeah, guy. Yeah, that's true. Um, they can have Teal can say, I am Ryak now. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Judge is like, I am Ryak. How how long do you think you'd have to <laughs> the be? The role of Ryak will now be played by Christopher Judge. <laughs> 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 in blue and yellow pants. Um, <laughs> h- how long do you think you'd need to be in that body, living that life as a teenager, before you would your mind would just accept that you are? Six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Not how long could he have sex for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is way too long for a teenager, obviously. As soon as you get your first assignment, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, I hate my life. Ugh. You just go to the the Army guy, the Air Force guy, yeah. be like, can you just make me pass this? Yeah. Yeah, mm. it was a weird turn at the end. Given it's like he hated being a teenager the whole time through the whole episode. He's like, "Oh my god, I hate this! I hate this! I hate this! I hate this!" Yeah, and then for Jack, young pussy, for, <laughs> and then for Jack of all people to be like, "Oh, I'll go to school." 
I'm like, mm. even the first time yeah. around, I don't think Jack O'Neill would have been that in- impressed with school. It's like, and like you said, he's mm. set up by the military. Mm. He could have just done a couple of night classes if he wanted to, do some, yeah, like do some online he, learning. When he retired the first time, wasn't he just at home, living by himself, looking at the stars? Like, surely mm. that's what he would get him, oh, go yeah. buy me a cabin in the middle of nowhere and I'll go yeah, live in it. If your knees yeah. aren't bad anymore, yeah. you'd want to you yeah. network. Imagine if we did have like a super team of O'Neills. You had the real one, yeah. and then you had Kurt Russell, <laughs> yeah, okay. Kurt, Kurt Russell, yeah, an alternate, an alternate dimension reality thing, uh, O'Neill. Then you had Richard Dean Anderson, O'Neill. Then you had the um, cyborg O'Neill oh, yeah, from, Man. from oh, Tin Man, Man. Oh. and then you had young Junior. clone O'Neill, like all having to team up and do some kind of like super weird mission or something. <laughs> oh yeah, and the crystal guy. Did you say that? Just the crystal guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cold Just Lazarus. the shade being thrown between five different O'Neills. Yeah. Maybe not Kurt Russell. I feel like Kurt Russell's O'Neill. <laughs> He'd be the butt he, of all the. He jokes. would have looked forward to school. He would have signed yeah. up for school. Yeah. But mm. RDA's one. No, not so much. I don't want to miss Monday. Here's a question. Serious right. question. Like, he, would he grow up and then want to have want to get married and have kids? No. Nah. Mm. He wouldn't. I'm well, telling you. Well, then why doesn't, he, why doesn't he just get a house in the middle of nowhere yeah, and live the, in it? The normal O'Neill did. You know, he had Sarah and Charlie until mm. Charlie put two in the back of his own head. <laughs> two. They come out the back of his head. Yeah. <laughs> um, How'd he get two? Must, uh, see, that's that was, why they need to put a ban on semi automatics. That was the joke. Uh, <laughs> you only get um, one off. So yeah, maybe. I couldn't. I mean, he'd be spreading it around. Maybe the maybe the um, the military just like medically castrated him so he couldn't breed, <laughs> just to be on the safe side. Well, yeah, I guess he maybe Loki be, did. Yeah, he'd know how to escape and never be seen again. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, and he didn't want to be like that. I thought that was weird too. That they were just like, so like, let's not keep in touch. Like, yeah. Oh, really? Imagine if he, he's got your fingerprints, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah in five true. years, he's gonna look like you. Like. Yeah. Like in a couple, if in a couple of years' time, where he was like a late teenager, you know, borderline on like adulthood, he could go and like be an infiltrator into the NID. Imagine if he did that, and he became like mm. a bit of a rogue, not a rogue agent, Ooh. but he was a bit of a spy, mm. and just all of a sudden, like SG One haven't heard from him in two years, and he calls through. He's like, anyway, I got bored. But knowing what I know, <laughs> yeah, as a late thirties, yeah. early forties O'Neill, I've went and joined the NID. Here's all the shady shit they're doing. They never suspect me because they don't know that I'm a young Jack O'Neill. But yeah. you've got an SG one member, an SGC staffer in the NID, and they don't even know about it. Like mm. he, I feel like he would go and do what the Tin Man version of SG one did, where they just went and did their own missions and they tried to do shit because That's they're a good like, point. we can't mm. sit back and do nothing. We're still us. That was so a the heavy, audience yeah. is like, oh, you're copies. You'll just stay on that planet forever and do nothing. It's like they wouldn't be able to switch off that moral compass. That was a heavy yeah. plot point mm. for yeah. Tin Man and Double Jeopardy. It's like they're SG one. They have to go out and do that kind of stuff. Mm. So yeah, it's interesting that yeah, this young clone O'Neill is happy to just sit back and, and party. Yeah, yeah. But like you said, he's he's a teenager, and it's yeah. like oh, temptations. Oh, save the world and mm-hmm. yeah. parties yeah. though. Yeah. He's got two good knees and a sack full of yeah marbles. Yeah, yeah. presents, <laughs> goodies <laughs> that don't touch his knees. So <laughs> yeah. So Jacob Carter, when he gets there, he goes uh, says to Sam, "How's Mark and the kids?" I'm like, that's like that's a. A reference from a long time ago yeah, to just drop in a, there whilst you're walking up the stairs. You got to be a hardcore fan to like register yeah. that. That's like season two. I think was probably the last time they referenced Sam's brother and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Kids. I'm like, why even put that in? Like, if, if you're going to catch up, surely he can come back mm. for a day or a weekend and catch yeah. up with Sam. Did feel a bit forced, like as a way to just like put. Oh yeah, they're related. Yeah. Just so everyone knows they're related, and they they do talk. But yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. yeah I, I found it a bit weird and unnecessary. Maybe he just did that because he knew that if, if he asked her how she was, she'd go on and on and on about some experiment. <laughs> yeah. And he just wanted some quick small talk. Yeah. You're going to talk yeah. about women's yeah. problems. I know yeah. it. <laughs> I want to talk to you so it's not awkward, but it's as like, soon as we get to the top of the stairs, we've got to stop. Yeah, he gets halfway up the stairs. He's like, just so, gonna... you over the death of your mother yet? He just pretends he's Cell Mac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Sam. Hey, <laughs> Where's Joe Hammond? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jacob's really asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad can't come to the mouth right now. <laughs> can't come to the mouth. <laughs> sure he can. <laughs> He's sleeping in the back of my head. Your voice isn't even flanged. You're just speaking like a. F- 
fucking idiot. <laughs> no, what? I'm not. <laughs> How dare you, yeah. Homer? I am Who is yeah. Homer. Oh, he starts talking like the Hulk. I am hundreds of years English. old. Respect your elders. <laughs> Starts talking like the Hulk in just broken English. <laughs> Jacob's sleeping. Sell Mac away. Because <laughs> that's what he thinks happens when he goes. Yeah. Well, that's what he thinks when he goes away. That's how he thinks Sell Mac Do you even know how? And then O'Neill walks past, like, oh, hey, Jack. Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, Jack. Hello, my name is Mr. Sell Mac. <laughs> I believe you have a letter for me. <laughs> uh. So there's a close up of the red phone on Hammond's desk. Oh, I saw it too. Did you see all the little little interesting bits and pieces on yeah. there? No granddaughters. No, that's really? the normal phone, mm-hmm. mate. No, it's the oh. red phone. Oh, I think. No. I think Mitch. I might yeah, because the president I was might number put one. A photo there, if you want to open that up, we can check no, that up on number socials. two on the old speed dial. But I don't think the red phone has a speed dial, does it? Yeah. It's, well, though you press the buttons and it dials. Like there's one there for Secretary of Defense and one there for Naval Command. There you and, go. Was What's that it? the? Oh, yeah. Okay. What's the first the, one? The Oval, Oval Office. Office. The Oval Office. It's like, got one that marked SGC. It's like, well, you're there. So. <laughs> no, I, I think there's a heading. I think if you go from the top down, like there, oh, right. in, okay, inside yeah. the SGC. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. So Oval Office, you got in, INTL COM. So what? Internal COM. So, international com, uh, Joint Chiefs, Department of uh, Defense, and. It's weird, though, because he always has to call the same operator because yeah. he says, give me the Joint Chiefs or give me the President. Yeah. It's like, you, it's me, Betty, George. You've been talking to me for five years already. <laughs> what? You're supposed to go out for But I dialed the week? Joint Chiefs. <laughs> yeah, so there's no granddaughters on that. Mm. Cooper. Must have taken off. Because what did he say? Grand, his granddaughters are one, right? President yeah, was two. Dial. Yeah. Dial one on your phone. Maybe they had like their one on the maybe, they had their dial, take, maybe they had their mobile phones taken. Maybe they were naughty and they had their cell phones taken away, so he's had to remove them on speed dial. Yeah, you know that was their punishment. Well, no, they got kidnapped no, and they can't find them. No now, screen so time. Like, might as well take. <laughs> yeah, might as well be. take them off the speed dial. No point. Well, I only had one favor left, so <laughs> I can't find them again. <laughs> You're really gonna have to pick them up after school <laughs> if you've ever find them again. Took you go pick up my granddaughters again. <laughs> So this isn't really an uh, across the universe, Whoa. but it's it's not an official one, but it's kind of like an internal one for me. I like to They're think the better ones. <laughs> I like to think that in that three o two briefing, I like to think that Cameron was there. That'd be mm. nice. I really like. We'll play this again for Reese in um, a couple. Three o two briefing. Yeah. Yeah. You know when um, young O'Neill gets like pinned in the in the briefing with all the pilots because Sam's leading the the chat about yeah that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So what a, they did the Anubis mission yeah so there's a there's a bunch yeah. of um, pilots there yeah um, and yeah there's just a character that's introduced in a couple of seasons time and I I like to think continuity wise I like to think he was in that briefing I like it yeah even though you can't see him there that What's is a cross Cameron I'm just going to give you Cameron for now Cameron Diaz Cameron just so Smith I don't, just so I don't. <laughs> But they, they did mention it. The goats. So what they were prepping those... So pilot- that was... Oh, yeah, that's what's in happening inside <laughs> my head. Across the inside universe. My head. Sorry, I haven't done this so long. I forgot we had to play it at the end as well. What I thought was interesting is, so what they were prepping them for was Operation Blue Phoenix, which was a live fire exercise against death gliders, which means we must have, like, we must now have a bunch of death gliders that we can afford to... Play around Against with death live fire. Live fire. Ex- the, what what they were briefing those pilots on was a live fire exercise against death gliders. That's ex- that's what Carter said, or might have been O'Neill said it. Yeah, but isn't that what they were doing? That's what they were prepping for. That that briefing was a prepping for Operation Blue Phoenix, which was a training exercise. But it was a live fire training right. exercise. Because so, I thought the idea was. I knew was there to talk about the previous mission, obviously, with the Nubis, where yeah. they were shooting at the Death Gliders. Well, no, he was prepping, so he was basically teaching them about, because none, none of those pilots have been inside a 302 yet. Yeah. So this was their briefing to acclimatise them to what a 302 is like, and basically for O'Neill to give them first-hand experience on what it is like to battle a glider in a, you know, in mm. a one-on-one sort mm. of dogfight, because that's what they're about to go do. With yeah. Operation He's talking about Phoenix. G-Force and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, be and careful inertial with, dampeners with and all that kind of stuff. I don't so, know. Yeah. Would they have gliders? Would they just be um, like on the computer? Oh, yeah, on the computer well, simulation. It couldn't, be, it couldn't be a live fire scenario with. Well, the that's what I'm thinking. If they it? had gliders, they wouldn't be using. You wouldn't be chasing someone with live fire trying to shoot them. Nor down. would you yeah. be building your old you know, F three hundred twos to 
Well, the three hundred two is a far superior to the gliders. Like with where they get the gliders from? That's what I'm saying. Did were there just a bunch like Hattuck in yeah in those couple of times that we've had a Hatak? Was there just a bunch of gliders in the bay that we emptied out like in Frozen and stuff? Did we just empty out the gliders before we crashed it into but the? But wouldn't ocean they have or? that technology that Anubis initiated when Tilk went rogue? In you know, in Tangent, how they it's just going back to home base. Yeah. Was. The GPS was automatic a, drive. That was yeah. a specific <laughs> scenario, though, wasn't it? Because we would put stuff into the three hundred one or something, wasn't it? No, I think it was a. Well, yeah, pro- possibly was yeah. an anti tampering thing. Yeah, and that that could have just been Apophis too. It might not have been everybody else. Mm. Um, if they were someone else's gliders, but I found it interesting that yeah, that that, that quick little throwaway line kind of insinuates a hell of a lot that we've yeah. got pilots who can fly gliders in a live fire scenario. That mm. yeah, I guess we'll see mm. soon. <laughs> If that's true or not. Yeah. <laughs> when O'Neill, for, well, when they went up, saw Loki. Good old Loki. Was that oh. Thor's brother? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> younger dickhead brother. Mate. Doing this shit again. Let's go from the mask. Yeah. Mm. The mask. Mm. Oh, yeah. The... Loki was a night guard. Maybe it only works at night. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you recognize the voice? Deloise. The voice like, yeah. I liked it. Saw it in the I credits like afterwards. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> Gary Jones for a minute. Yeah, I was oh, hoping it was. Why don't they ever get Gary to voice a yeah. Asgard? That'll be he'd have been great for like Pentagal or one of the other ones you see in some of the later seasons. Yeah. They could have got him to do heaps of shit. Yeah. Cheap. That would be interesting. <laughs> Cheap as. Cheaper. Cheaper than the director getting a credit. Oh, well, I suppose Peter <laughs> Deloise well he he got a story credit for this as well. Yeah. Um but yeah, he does like to put himself in a cameo in in some way he puts himself in in an every episode he directs. Does he get paid for that? Or is it just an on-the-job fee? Uh, sure, that's, he just does it. He just does it, I think. Yeah, chalk me up for time. a cameo <laughs> payment. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. Bonus. <laughs> yeah. You would, eh? But yeah, I mean, if he's just, if he's just like standing in the background, you know, drinking Pepto-Bismol like you got Gary to that time, they wouldn't be doing that. But you'd think to voice yeah. a character, legally they'd had they'd have to probably pay him. throw a couple of bucks his way or something like that. Voice over work. Cheapest mm. chips. Yeah. You think when they got up there and O'Neill saw the clone O'Neill, he's like, "Who's this?" I'm like, "Don't you recognise yourself as a yeah. youngster?" He's Surely wearing, you'd know. He's wearing the exact same clothes he's wearing too, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. but smaller. Did they have to go to that yeah. much detail, or, or were they the clothes that maybe he was found in when? Oh uh, yeah, when true. Loki I don't know. I think you'd be pretty up. confused if your younger self walked in because you'd be looking. and You're like, "What is this?" Mm. You know, mm. it's like you, you're given this this guy's strange hot. reality where you're like. I know that person. I don't know who it is. Yeah. Hey, he was cranky. He just woke up. Yeah. <laughs> Hadn't had a pee in seven days. <laughs> well, coffee. that's the thing. Like you, I, you, you don't remember what you looked like back in the day unless you've seen a video of it. Like I've, I don't, I, I don't remember a time in my life where I've looked in the mirror and don't look the way I look right now. Yeah, it is you know that I mean? that TV sort of <clears throat> cheat, the conceit that. Um, you wouldn't recognise a younger version or even an older version of yourself. Like if yeah, ten year old if older. ten year old me mm. saw forty year old me, he'd be like, Hey, that's me. No. Nah. Wouldn't happen. <laughs> All right. You reckon if you as ten year old saw mate, you and mate, went, I'm thirty five now. I don't look that different to when I was ten. Yeah, but like you're like yeah, oh, but- there's another adult. Like you don't give a shit. Yeah, when that's you're what 10. I was, that's what I was thinking. Like everyone everyone grown up is just a grown up. Yeah, f- those people. Maybe if you were like if you were like you know, sixteen, seventeen, and you saw forty-year-old you. You'd probably be like, yeah. "That guy looks familiar." Long lost uncle. <laughs> <laughs> My initial thought wouldn't be, "That's me." <laughs> 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 Holy shit! I am getting on. <laughs> I better lay off some of these eclairs. But man. you're right, though. I guess Jesus. if if clone young O'Neill is there with the rest of SG One. And then our O'Neill wakes up and sees all of them there, and then someone who kind of looks familiar, and in that split second goes, "Fuck, that looks like how I used to." Like you'd think yeah. maybe it would come to him sooner, but I'm dreaming. Yeah, mm. that'd be so weird. Like he literally went to sleep one night and then woke up in the morning, and his whole team standing in his f-ing house, like, "What are you guys doing? Are you watching me sleep?" Yeah. Apparently, he sleeps like he's ready to have a, a bike parked in his ass crack. Like he's just like, "Oh, no, he doesn't." <laughs> <laughs> Probably just got one taken out. I have an extra large wheel, please. <laughs> yeah, he, he was being probed, so <laughs> <laughs> never know. I wonder how many times Loki actually f***ed him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and he's been doing it for years, too. <laughs> for seven days, he's had an unconscious O'Neill there. 
And he knows uh, that O'Neill is legendary. Wouldn't we all? He's like, he's like the I Cosby reckon, of the Asgard world. I might try. Oh, I might try three fingers today. <laughs> They're skinny. They're skinny and long. Do they light up like ETs? <laughs> Wait, wouldn't so. that be hilarious? Mm. Heat up. <laughs> it's warm. Warm. I like the yellow ones. <laughs> Oh, the his mate oh, at the. I can go get your PlayStation. That was sick. I was like, "Yes, do that." Yeah, <laughs> but then he was like, "What? I don't want PlayStation." And then he plays it later on. Yeah, but yeah, he's made at the at the gas station or the grog shop, whatever. Oh yeah, with Harley. Yeah, Be- Beck. Or something. That was weird. Harlan Beck. He's, Harlan Beck. He's never seen anyone that he knows ever before. Yeah, and then all yeah. of a sudden, oh hey, I you know I went to war with you. Remember? Mm, I mean, he's at the front of a bottle. I hope to think so. Now, <laughs> I'd be very disappointed if neither of the Gibson brothers spotted the uh, the the sight gag that was in that scene. Probably, it's classic Peter Deloise. Now, this liquor store is in fact a sushi restaurant, right across a what? S- sushi sushi restaurant. Sushi, sushi restaurant. That's right. Sushi, now look at no, Szechuan. Look at the, look at the sign, and now if you say that out loud, it's funny. Neilan. Well, the audience can do it. So that was the Neelan Liquor Store. <laughs> Neelan Liquor Store. So the sign literally wow. said Neelan Liquor. That is like great. Our, our dad's best friend, his nickname is Barney. Yeah. So they went they went past a liquor barn and he's like, like look, liquor barn. He's like, all right. <laughs> this is a sick puppy. My, um, my grade eight Neelan. English Neelan liquor. <laughs> My great oh, that's eight. great. We need to so check that on the socials. I thought there was that comedy album out a couple of years ago. I don't know what the guy was that sung it, but one of the songs was Dickens Cider. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Oh, well I've seen people do prank calls with that. They call up a grog shop yeah. and they'll go, do you have cider? They'll say, do you have Summersby Cider? Oh, Summersby Cider. No. Yeah, we do. Oh, cool. What about Dickens? Dickens? Yeah, Dickens, the cider. Dickens Cider. Um... <laughs> Can you ask someone? Let me go. Yeah, let me go check. And then they crack it up. They go, do we have any Dick and Cider? <laughs> Dick and Cider? My, no, I don't think we have Dick and Cider. My grade eight okay. English teacher's last Side name was Root. And his first name was Neil. Neil so Root. He was Neil Root. And then uh. his middle name was Andrew. So if you literally, if you dropped the R-E-W, he was Neil and Root. Wow. Jesus. And Root means thir- to bang. And as 13-year-old boys, <laughs> we didn't give to him bang shit. On nah, you guys were hardly people. You wouldn't even nah. thought about that. That would have been like, like hindsight thing after school going, oh, yeah. dang it. We definitely didn't, you know, try and find out what his middle name was so we could see if it actually all worked. <laughs> like, who knows their f***ing teacher's middle name? Was it R-O-O-T or R-O-U-T? R-O-O-T. Yeah. Yeah, like Root. Joe Root. Joe Root, yeah. the English captain. The wanker. <laughs> yeah. He was just a he fun was just for the funny English, out there. Yeah. He was just a funny English. Bo- um, he can't bat for shit. We're just watching Steve Smith crack up a hundred. Another one. Oh, don't say we. You. What another? another. Maddie's watching us watch Steve Smith. Yes. <laughs> Super exciting. And for so Maddie, exciting. the only thing more boring than watching cricket is watching other people watch yeah, cricket. Pretty much. <laughs> it's probably not as boring. We should get a reaction YouTube channel. Yes. Reaction of cricket. Yeah. <laughs> Smithy's hundreds. Follow us. How's this for a bit of trivia? This episode was the first one filmed for the season. What? So they actually, they actually filmed this before Fallen and Homecoming. Right. And Aww. Daniel was back and shit. Daniel was back, <laughs> what yeah. What was Corrin doing? They all show up to the well, Corrin, yeah. read. Corrin's, Corrin's like, like coming like, in a week late. Oh, Corrin's yeah. in, still on hiatus. Yeah. Just yeah, uh, so... take the rest of the week off there, Corrin. Why? <laughs> no reason. No reason. No reason. Maybe <laughs> that was the promise. He'll be uh, back this week. Be. Well, no, I'll make it next week. <laughs> is because RDA was RDA wasn't there, so he took extra time off. Ah, of course. Yes. So they couldn't film it. So he filmed every scene for this for this episode in one day. He came back for one day and shot this episode, and then they started the season proper and went and did Fallen and Homecoming. Right. Surely that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah he, he getting jack of that. Took like... some extra time off. Jack, mm-hmm. yeah. but it's so good. <laughs> like from oh, like a this... writing perspective and and from the series perspective, yeah. it's such a good episode because. You think Jack's there because that's Jack, yeah. And the kid does such a great job doing so such O'Neil. a great job, so convincing that like it made me think. Well, maybe o- <laughs> maybe Jack, maybe uh, RDA was there feeding the kid his lines the way he'd right? say it. Yeah. If if, mm-hmm. if there was a special feature telling me that they filmed that entire show, like they did run throughs where RDA did every single scene and every single line mm, first, yeah. and that kid stepped in and did it, I'd believe that he yeah. did such a convincing job. He must have done his research RDA. though. Apparently, yeah, um, Peter Deloise gave him a bunch of tapes of, 
like key O'Neill episodes. Yeah, right. and he just Onealerisms. Sort of yeah, and he just watched yep. them on repeat. Apparently, For crying out loud! When you guys Googled and IMD beat him before, like I've always been hesitant to do that because I didn't want to have the bubble burst that he wasn't somehow related to Richard. <laughs> right, honestly, I'm yeah. like, that could be his son. That would be old enough mm. to be a child of his or his nephew or something. Yeah. Someone that hangs around him long enough yeah. and they've just given him like you know a Dom DeLuise. It's like I know he obviously was a performer otherwise, but it's like come in because you're a relation of someone on the show yeah. and you can do what we know that it's you like can Ice do. Ice Cube's you know? son plays him in, in uh, Straight in WA, yeah. And brilliantly, you're like obviously yeah. like, well, he would know him. It's like, can we trust him to do it? Is he really yeah. an actor? Well, not yeah. really, but let's just give him his thing. And he was fantastic. Yeah. Managed to would actually get Lincoln to play it. Wally. Yeah. That's a good question. Yes. Yes. Shave, shave the head. <laughs> yeah. Grow the mow. Grow the mow. Yeah. Grow the chest hair back out, Link. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get rid of the six pack. <laughs> Stop exercising, for Christ's sake. Dad hated training. Be professional. <laughs> Is there another picture there at all for uh, Reese's benefit? Mitch, did I put another uh, no. picture there on the email? There's a great um, shot that I think we can finally kind of show to Reese now, and it's um, it's Sam, Teal'c, and Daniel from this episode. Uh, recreating the Charlie's Angels pose. Oh. Have you seen that at all, Reese? No. Charlie's I'll Angels. See if I, can come find it. I just thought to it was be funny. Honest, I wasn't listening to what you were saying. <laughs> it's a shock. It was I was reading for the first time ever. <laughs> Stick in my bank account, to be honest. <laughs> Seeing how fing broke I am. Zero, still. You know, I got paid yesterday and got minus a thousand bucks. Good. <laughs> Happy. Credit cards. God, I, are good. I, I, hate, I hate like pay going through when I'm at work and then. Your yeah, wife's already spent it. Then I get home, she's like, <laughs> not much of your pay left, sorry. Uh, it's a lot of bills, but it's still gone. And I'm like, "That's I just I just kind of wanted to open my account yeah. and yeah. see numbers. Yeah. That's all I wanted. Send me a like, screenshot before like, you do anything. Yeah. I wanted to see more numbers before the decimal point than after. That's all I wanted. See, I've got a separate bank account yeah. Yeah, to I've, my wife, yeah. and then we've and then we I just transfer a... Whatever I think is necessary. <laughs> no, I transfer most of it, but then I've got my own bank account, so I can be in as much debt as I can possibly get into, <laughs> and her bank account's fine because she knows how to save money. Yeah. Oh right, I thought it was going to be the other way around. Like, no. Yeah. Okay. God no. No. God. Yeah. See, I've thought about doing that, unless of course Sarah's listening, which of course I haven't thought about doing my own bank account. But it's like, <laughs> how do I get money into that? Because we do have our, we've only got our joint accounts. So if I start mm. transferring money out to like this unknown bank or to one yeah, named yeah. Mitchell Lewis, then it's like, what's this? Nothing. Why is it with Patreon. a completely different bank that Patreon we don't? Money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> feed it through. That's how I wash. Yeah. I clean it. I launder yeah. the money by going through Patreon and PayPal into a bank that we Just don't even get bank your with. employer to put it in two different bank accounts. Yeah. Just put a hundred bucks in this one every yeah. pay. Sup? Yeah. Keep it quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I meant to get some inflation payments at the end of the year, so yeah, start doing that. All those I stocks used- that you. That you bought. <laughs> yeah. I use this podcast as kind of a bleed off. It's like if I order too much stuff online, because it all goes to work so that I can get it sort of easy and don't have to go to the post office to go and get it and stuff like that. My dad's always like, what are you wasting money on? Oh, nothing. It's just for the podcast. Ah, uh, good, good. definitely good. not for the podcast. It's definitely for me. It's like when- Shut up. I'm 35, <laughs> mother <laughs> <laughs> Do what I want. You can buy as many toys as I want, dad. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Just because I bought another 10 mini mates. Well, <laughs> this is like, what's this double headed dildo? It's for the podcast. That's, the podcast. <laughs> it's fine. That's where it is. It's a flashlight for. Ah, uh, it's for the podcast. Mr. Mitch's. You said that Maddie, <laughs> gag. Maddie should be fine. He's married. <laughs> this is my week to carry it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I've got a bit of audio. It just says uh, number eight audio commentary, mind blown. And I did this so long ago, I have no idea what it is. So now, this is an interesting just- question about the soul. Right. Oh, copy of the consciousness. That's where right. is the soul? Well, and it, they don't. They don't have. They don't seem to have any value on the clone's life. And yet, that's how they reproduce. This is a man who two minutes earlier was like, "Check out that sign that says Neil and Liquor that I put in this show," <laughs> and then he just f-ing drops like these philosophical like knowledge bombs like that. And I'm just like, "Holy!" F-. That's mm. why I love Peter DeLuise so much because you just never know what he's like. He's so like smart and intelligent when it comes to storytelling and directing all that kind of stuff but then he's still just like <laughs> poop like, is just, so what, is he, what was he saying the soul has no he said he didn't get he didn't care because he's gonna kill Junior O'Neill when he comes back anyway because he's a 
because he's a clone, it's like discard him like rubbish. But yeah. the thing is, all the Asgards are clones. So yeah, what does it right. mean to them see, philosophically? Yeah. Yeah. They have a soul. And just really yeah, get into okay. me- the metaphysics of it all. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, right. does, does young O'Neill have a soul? No. Yeah. Hey, let's bring back the number one trending segment for season seven, guys. Absolutely. It's time to find <laughs> out. Oh. Bish way. Bish way. Bish way. That's what it says. That's the song. Solid. It's not swearing if it's in a song. Yeah. Yeah. This episode doesn't advance anything in the SG-1 universe. It's a throwaway, low budget, because the last few episodes cost a lot to make episode. The young actor who played young O'Neill wasn't very good. He took one element, sarcasm, and handed up to the nth degree. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) The end is a real puzzler. Young O'Neill with a full mind of real O'Neill... Goes to high school. He'll happily live the life of a teenager growing up into an adult. He looks forward to it, and the mind-numbed writers prove this by showing him looking at some high school girls. Mm. An adult, especially one with O'Neill's normal attitudes, wouldn't tolerate being surrounded by kids for long, even in this episode. Young O'Neill bumped heads with authority when treated as a kid. That's people knowing he was really adult Jack in a kid body. High school would be a disaster. Can I just point out, every time this person writes high school, they're putting HS, which annoys the shit out of me. (laughs) Uh, high school. High school would be a disaster, but if it's just supposed to be funny and light, even if so ridiculous. Gone are the days of having to watch this show as it aired. You can skip this awful episode without missing anything important and overall series story development. Skip it. Four out of ten. Obviously, that guy auditioned for the part of young O'Neill and didn't get it. Don't assume, mate. Four out of ten. Don't assume That's ridiculous. Young O'Neill. Who it said it? Who said that? Uh, there's name no, of shame. There's no screen name there. Oh, classic. It's anonymous. Rob's. Yeah, just an anonymous. Mm. Classic. It was me. Bish way? Bish way? Bitch I almost what? forgot what that segment was about until <laughs> halfway through. Because <laughs> yeah. you, you didn't introduce it, really. That's nah, fine. <laughs> it's called Bitch What. I was People, like, oh, I get it. Yeah. This is a bad review. Yeah, that's like... With some of the crap that we've seen the last couple of seasons, like the worst of the worst episodes, our bottom three sort of shit, mm. this is not going to... Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know how good season seven gets. I can't imagine this is going to be in our bottom three. Okay, so the end of the season, I'm going to have two columns. I'm going to have my top seven, which is going to have 20, two columns. Which is going to have 20 episodes in oh, it. My ass. And then I'm going to have a middle section, which is going to have two episodes in it, and that's my list. Wow. I don't know how to set it up. You've got you've got what twenty weeks to figure yeah. out how to how to do it the right way. Not to like completely talk ourselves up, but you just mentioned before with Peter Deloise and the fact that like he can go from making poop jokes to making really philosophical things like in an instant. I feel like it's kind of what our podcast does. Like I would like to think that people listening to our show hear us go on some like disgusting rant. Mold dick. Oh, I got mold on my dick. Yeah, <laughs> that sort of shit. And then all Let's of a sudden, the we crack into like some breakdown of the script and overall story arc and, mm. and character development. And I'm like, that seems like a bad edit. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. as it played out. Yeah. Because in yeah. this studio, many times, mm. the moldy dick comments, <laughs> they don't mean that much. <laughs> Hey, it's I'd not... take offence to that. <laughs> it, it's not shocking. It does mean a lot to, me. Can, a lot to me. We can say that and find it funny, and it's like, okay, now for a serious point, and it's not mm. like we need to calm down, have a breath, and go, how are we going to get through this without laughing? <laughs> it's the the moldy dick. Yeah. It's it's it's, a, it's. This is our life. It's that's it. It's like you can start this podcast by going. The philosophical ramifications of Newtonian physics is my left nut. Mm. That's basically how yeah. our podcast in, in, in one quick sentence. And I feel, like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like a lot of our reviews reflect that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Like, they review all this and wrap it up in a dick joke. Get into gate. Slap it on a ding dong. <laughs> it's time for the get into gate. Hey, hairy hairy mailbag. Mail We haven't practiced that. The last two weeks we've been pretty on sync there, so um, well done. Oh, Damo Edwards. Edwards. Oh, he's done it again. Edwards. Hi, Maddie. Just finished watching <laughs> DS9 at The Visitor, which you... No, I won't do it. I won't, well, do, you it. Have, I won't do it to you. You have. Oh, come on. That's a giant email that I skipped over. But you come started, on. though. I mean, you went just enough to get her that, too. better be too. very careful. I've seen what you've done here. He does say... <laughs> 
It is the episode he would choose for you to watch as well if you weren't Captain Chronology. I believe he was slipping into my DMs. So, I yeah, I'm glad Mitch hit the, this that's one because it's got nothing to do with us as a podcast. It's Damo, It's mate. just Damo, Damo and gets, you Damo talking gets, about Star Trek. Yeah. Well, he references Mitch. Don't drag oh, me look, into this, mate. And, and in the mail, Don't drag wasn't the podcast into us. <laughs> in the mail, no, he slipped into my DMs. But I love the fact that in our in our it's little mailbag, what happens in chat, your DMs stays in your DMs. <laughs> the the very <laughs> next thing posted was Brendan saying that's one. So oh, there you go. Yeah. So at least I'm consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Something I said a few weeks ago uh, yeah. pricked up the ears of Neil Johns. On, Johnsy. Uh, Johnsy. Johnsy. MJ on Patreon. He says about the Jello conversation. I don't know if you ever had Jello Jigglers. I didn't name it. It's on the box. Uh, It's pretty much just a different water to mix ratio that lets you cut it into shapes and doesn't melt if you hold it. Great people over at Jello. Absolutely, love a good airplane jelly. One of the great companies. I can't believe that there's other places in the world that. Sorry, Jono, but are so dumb that they think people can't just change the water to Jello ratio on their own. If no, they want to make it thicker or runnier. It's called science, people. <laughs> you put I, more I crystals find that, in there. That's really patronising by those companies to like their, you know, customers to think, oh, they're too dumb to put 200 mils of water instead of Yeah, but it's the Homer Simpson rule. Can't somebody else do it? <laughs> Very true. Very Never true. try. <laughs> oh, look, a special congratulations to Rob Kerrigan, ladies and gentlemen, the now a fiancé. A fiancé. And he has one as well, a fiancé. <laughs> hey. So congratulations, Caro. Karim Adaman. Adaman? Adaman. Adamant. Has got in contact with us on, uh, I believe it's uh, YouTube. The YouTube. Oh, yeah. One of the great YouTubers. Hey, guys. Greetings from Turkey. One of the great Turkey. Tur- Turkish listeners. Gallipoli, Love- anyone? <laughs> Love your podcast. Started listening to it about two months ago and are now up to date. You guys quickly become my favorite podcast. Would also love to hear you guys do a podcast about Babylon 5. What have thought so, mate. Ooh, <laughs> Probably yeah. the worst show I've ever seen. Probably have to do a podcast on Babylon 1, 2, 3, and 4 first. Yes, I'm chronology <laughs> all Jesus. the way. So well Go and just go straight to <laughs> yeah, Babylon yeah, 5. Go to number five. <laughs> it's like going straight to DS9 if you haven't watched the first <laughs> eight Star Treks. Oh, you can't talk about DS9 and Babylon 5 in the same conversation. Why not? That, that riles people up. Oh, that's good to know. Because right. they, thanks, they, they <laughs> thanks for that ammunition. They all, no, they all, they all. Apparent, I've never seen an episode of Babylon Five, but apparently they reckon DS Nine copied Babylon Five. Yeah, because they ran it at the is. same time, and they both set on space stations. And, and it's, they've got a rip and, in the fabric of some shit as well. Oh, okay. I've never seen it. I don't know. I was, I've, I've, Spock I was, had an was, affair with someone from it Babylon Five. It was such bad CGI that I threw up. Yeah, it's <laughs> one of those real, real super low budget. <laughs> Not even uh, just felt sick. You yeah. actually spewed up because, <laughs> because you saw CGI. <laughs> it wasn't up to scratch. Oh, mate. It's up to scratch. You're, Barely sitting, scratches what? The You're sitting in your lounge room watching the show <laughs> and all of a sudden you just... just <laughs> oh, my what? God. Are you okay? Yeah, look, look at that CGI. Look at that. Still rendering. <laughs> <laughs> I borrowed the Blockbuster DVD. You're thinking, yeah, sci fi is sick. And then watched that. I'm like, okay, not all sci fi is <laughs> Big and choose, big and choose. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Kevin O'Donoghue. O'Donoghue on, uh, on the Patreon. Kev. Hey, guys. Uh, hi, guys. It's been a while since I posted something on here. Just been busy with life and shit. Oh, tell not us good about enough, it, mate. mate. Oh, not good enough. Priorities. Right. <laughs> Fucking it. We're, we're, we're two weeks in a row now. <laughs> I knocked this up in my spare time. If you're ever looking to add a charming and funny Irishman to... Oh, an Irishman to the oh, show. No. Hit me up on the socials. What are the odds Maddie's reading this out? Would love to work with <laughs> surprise, you guys surprise. or just get drunk. Either is good with me. P.S. Matty, I will not fiddle your potatoes. And what he's done... Did he send another Ke- email? Kevin sounds a lot like um, Bobby Reedy oh, in your voice. Sounds a lot like Mrs. Doubtfire as well. <laughs> and what he's done is he's done a quick Photoshop of our um, our little banner, like our little social oh, banner, yeah. the oh, four yes. of us recreating our Stargate pose. He's put me in a Jean-Luc Picard uniform. Well done. Which I appreciate, but it's also the wrong uniform, mate. It should have been the Voyager ones. But I, it does really reflect our show. Like I, that, I could quite happily have that as our banner because it really does reflect. I'd and quite le- happily not. <laughs> well, it just reflects how much I talk about bloody Star Trek in this show. Yeah, it does. 
Hey, and a quickie from um, Jason Holiday. Oh, please. He's uh, Here's a list of my top four favourite anagrams of all your names. <laughs> what? Mitch Lewis, he's managed to rearrange those to Chew Limits. <laughs> Witch Slime. Mm. Le Swim Itch. Oh, it's like around the world all over oh. again. <laughs> and my favourite, Ms. Wet Chili. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick Wet with chili. D, please, Eddie. Yep. All right. Lock it in. And we go uh, Reese. That's me. Reese Gibson. Bros Shying. Absolutely, we are. Shy Rib Song. <laughs> One of my favourites of all time. <laughs> Sir Shy Bong. Yes, you're welcome. Shy Bong. Shy Bong. And my favourite, Grins by Hose. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I deliver. Hose, just H-O-S, though. No E, because I'll say there's no E in, you know. Oh, yeah. Hose. Yeah, Hose. I've, I've put the apostrophe in there. Right, thank yeah, you, yeah. 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 Uh, Brendan. Yeah. I mean, which one do you... They're all gold here. <laughs> Banding boners. That's his favourite thing to do. I band no, them together. Oh, I don't know. I think he prefers nine dong barbs. <laughs> <laughs> well, both of them, if he could. Isn't one of your relatives' names Barb as well? Isn't there a Barb Gibson that I see you've got? Yeah, his mum. Oh, there you go. Just his mum, isn't his it? Mom, Just yeah. his mum. Just his mum. Your mum. Uh, <laughs> your mum. Bad bong singer. Sinner, sorry. Sin- oh, bag. Bad bong sinner. Bad bong, bong singers. That's the name of my rap group. <laughs> oh, I thought it'd be the last one here. Bang inbred son. <laughs> Is that like a supernatural spin off? Oh, could be. <laughs> uh, and then for, for me, for high pitch, for Maddie Gibson, botanist Jim. <laughs> that's, that's his stage name. That's pretty yeah. good. Botanist, <laughs> welcome to the stage, botanist Jim. <laughs> Hello, uh, fellow nerds. <laughs> yeah, I like it. This, this one is on fleek. For, this is on fleek. This, wow. <laughs> where that came Bitch, what? Did you try to say Starfleet? No, fleek. That's two. Something's on fleek. <laughs> Someone's on fleet. This one's appropriate for a couple of weeks ago with Lincoln's uh, men's health cover issue. Mm. Got minty abs. Yeah. Minty abs. Nice. Mm. Sometimes a, like these, you need abs. Yeah. Give us a taste. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Lincoln's got minty abs, whereas I'm more like the next one. Mangy titsob. <laughs> <laughs> yes, forget the rest. That's what that no, is. You, yeah. you say that. that. Means, However, the last titsob. one, probably the most appropriate, gobs my taint. No oh, way. Oh, Jesus. Gobs my taint. Gobs my taint. How come I didn't get anything with gobs? <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Oh, yeah. I want a We've gob We've all got something. Gibson in our last name. <laughs> in our last in name. In our last name. <laughs> We've all got Gibson. Included in, in our, our last, last name. name. Yeah, in our last name. <laughs> so that uh, was, was that? well done, uh, Jason Holiday. Jason, Jason Holiday. I'll tell you what, you go gangbusters gold. on Countdown. <laughs> What's that? What's that? It's time, time to find out, out if Reese has been paying attention. No. All right, five questions, 30 seconds on the clock for Reese, mm. the newbie, with some sweet trivia. What was the name of the Asgard that kidnapped O'Neill? Loki. Correct. What PS2 game was young O'Neill playing? Oh, Need for Speed? Incorrect. Mm. How ah. long was O'Neill asleep for? Seven days. Correct. While on Loki's ship, how did Jack... Refer to his young duplicate. Oh, good looking, handsome, something. Incorrect. What was uh, Young O'Neill's presentation briefing about? Oh, the X three hundred two. Incorrect. <laughs> Sorry, I heard the ding. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Bloody hell, man! It was the F three hundred two. Remember, we've changed it. And referred to, to Young O'Neill as Mini Me. Right, yeah. Um, and then Gran Turismo 3, he was playing on the PS2, oh, one of the great yeah. games. Should have been playing Need for Speed. He should have been. It's all the same. Or GTA. I've never yeah. played London any of those Edition, games. anybody? Really? Wow. You're a twat. You're a Nintendo boy. Yeah. yeah well. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> never! <laughs> Grow up. Grow up and Mario, get a real console. Mario Brothers all the way. Uh, yeah, well, it was as of this recording coming out on Sunday, it was my birthday yesterday, and potentially you were all over on Friday night drinking and, and playing my Nintendo 64? No, nah, we were busy, remember? Nah, yeah, of course you were. That's right. <laughs> Bugger. Couldn't get out of that thing. It was just it was just me it was just me, Lincoln and Natalia on Goldeneye. Hey Reese, remind me to organise a thing before next Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Said I've got something that I already couldn't make. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm actually out of town. Yeah. And uh 
Reese. Thanks. Your father made you wrong. You stupid son of a bitch. You, your moments? father and Brendan's mother made you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan's mum. Tell your mum to stop f***ing my dad. <laughs> she has, mate. <laughs> yeah, tell, tell, her, <laughs> tell her to gobs my taint instead. That's what instead. you think. <laughs> <Gobs my taint. laughs> What was the other one? I'm just going Bit, back bitch down. Bitch tits or whatever. <laughs> bitch. Mangy bitch. Mangy tits. Mangy tits. Mangy tits. Mangy tits. tits <laughs> All right, that's episode 136 of Get Into Gate. We will be back next weekend to talk... Orpheus. Orpheus. Mm. Ooh. The red hey, pill you've spoken or about that before. the blue pill. Mm. <clears throat> and look, our our ego is in a bit of fragile balance, so uh, join our Patreon. Oh, mm. I like it. Yes. Mm. My life. Mm. That'll just yeah. go a long way to... If you want to see Reese's Orpheus, you can jump <laughs> on a Patreon. <laughs> Every Orpheus you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Gaping. He'll create new ones. Gaping Let's have a look at Gaping Orpheus. <laughs> Just slide right in. Uh, so that's, yeah, patreon.com forward slash get in a gate. Hit us up on the socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just search get in a gate, a Stargate podcast, or uh, drop us a hairy mailbag, uh, letter, email, voicemail, whatever you want, get in the gate at gmail.com. I'm Mitch underscore Lewis on Twitter and Instagram. Maddie at High Pitch Maddie. Brendan at the Bren Gibson. And Reese at the Flying Gibson. We'll be back next week to talk Orpheus. Could be Reese's, could not be. We'll find out next week right here on Get In The Gate. Get Into Geek.